these are the three waxes that I'm going to be applying during my test. Now this is plain, pure carnauba wax. I bought a one pound block of this many years ago, many years, and I still got a lot left. Now this is pure micro crystalline wax. It hasn't been mixed with anything to alter its properties or to make it soft. This thing is hard as a rock. The third product here is, uh, this is Renaissance wax. And uh, you've probably seen it. It's been around a long time. Renaissance wax, uh, it has been blended with other things. Uh, I don't know exactly what, but it is quite soft. Uh, if you take a look at it, it's sort of like uh, hard butter. Uh, where this is like hard rock. Uh, this is actually soft enough. You can very easily dent it with your finger. And you can also very easily rub a cloth on it to get some of it out, which is why it's been blended to be softer so that you are able to use it. All right, uh, those are the three waxes. Now I'd like to show you the, uh, the test subjects and wood spindles. These are the four spindles that I'll be using for my test. Uh, I wanted four spindles so that I could have four different finishes to put the polish or the wax on top of. This is Paydock or Paduk or however you like to pronounce it. Um, it's a beautiful orange colored wood and it has friction polish on it. And it's set up now for well over a week. There's been quite a bit of a delay in my getting around to this video after I started working on it. This is Red Heart and it's got tongue oil on it. And you can see it's a little bit flatter finish. There's only a very mild shine on this. Uh, it's set up for over a week as well. Our next is Quina, or perhaps it's Quina. Looks a little bit like walnut, doesn't it? Perhaps not quite as dark. This has got a wiping varnish on it. Two coats of a wiping varnish. Uh, generally, one coat's not real good. All three of these have two coats of their finish, whatever the particular finish is on them. And then finally, we've got Purple Heart, and this has a sanding sealer on it. And I'm not going to do any testing on bare wood because that's just not a way that I would use uh, wax anyway. All right, uh, what I have here is a piece of Red Heart, and this is the piece that has tongue oil on it. Uh, I'm going to put Renaissance wax on this section. I'm going to put uh, pure microcrystalline wax on this section. And I'm going to put carnauba wax on this section. And that's the same order that I'm going to do all of the different spindles on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply my wax. Renaissance wax. Apply it with a paper towel. Just get some on there. And I'm just going to wipe it on just like that. According to the instructions, it dries instantly. Microcrystalline wax. I'm right at uh, 1200 RPM here. Microcrystalline crystalline wax. And just uh, you can see it going on there. For two micronuba wax, same thing. And for actually polishing it, see I'm about 1200 now, I'm going to go up higher. Uh, I'm right about uh, 2,000 RPM, and I've just got a piece of soft cloth here. This is uh, basically t-shirt material. And I'm putting enough pressure on it to, to heat up my finger uh, underneath the cloth pad. All right, fresh cloth. I don't want to put get any contamination from the uh, Renaissance wax to the other two. So a fresh cloth. Now you can see uh, where it's kind of melting, where it gets briefly very shiny. Probably means I got more wax on there than what I should have. Fresh cloth for the carnauba wax. Now I am going to let this sit for at least 60 seconds and then I'll be back and I'm going to polish it again. 
with the appropriate cloth. Maybe I'll even put on a second coat. I think that's probably the best idea. I'll put on two coats of wax on each one of the spindles here. Okay, it's been 60 seconds. Uh, another coat of the Renaissance wax right here. Micro crystal wax pure. Not as heavy this time. And the um, carnival wax pure. Polishing the uh, Renaissance wax cloth here. Pure micro crystal and wax cloth. And finally the carnival wax cloth again. And let's take a look. Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to look on camera, even looking in the viewfinder here. But looking at it in person here, let me see if I can, if this will help any. All right. The, uh, this is, uh, the Carnuba Wax is very clearly the winner here. It's much more shiny. Not hugely shiny, but much more shiny. Now, um, pure uh, microcrystalline wax and Renaissance wax. I think the pure microcrystalline wax is a tiny bit shiner, shinier. It's kind of hard to tell. It also depends on the angle that you're viewing at to get the light reflected. But uh, it appears to me that the pure is just a little bit uh, brighter or shinier than the um, Renaissance wax is. All right, I'm going to give this 30 seconds, no, 60 seconds. I'm going to pause it one more time, and that'll be it for this test. Okay, one minute, one more polish. No more wax. Cloth for the pure microcrystalline wax. Cloth for the carnauba wax. And let's take a look at what we got here. Once again, the carnauba wax is clearly shinier. And between these two, once again, it's extremely difficult to tell. Looking at this without the light shining directly off of it, without the direct reflection, this looks a little bit shinier. I put my head over on the side and look down this way. This and this look pretty much the same. Okay. Now, I am going to switch to... Um, my next sample. I must say, Purple Heart is fantastic wood. I love the color. All right, looking at it square on, um, it looks to me like Carnauba Wax is a little bit higher shine, but not by much. Now, if I look down the length of it, Say I'm on the headstock side and kind of look down the length where I can get a different reflection of light. They all look the same. They all appear to be just as shiny. So that's pretty nice. All right, time to go to the next piece of wood. And let's have a look. Let's see, get the best surface showing, uh, at least right on top here. Um, I like the purple heart. Viewing it square on, Canuba wax is shinier. If I shift over this way, where I can get a reflection all down the length of it, uh, this one and this one, that is pure Canuba, pure microcrystalline, uh, are both about equivalent. The uh, Renaissance wax is just a very tiny bit uh, less shiny. 
I, I mean to the point that it's probably insignificant or maybe it's just uh, me imagining it. So let's switch to the last piece of wood that I've got. And let's take a look. Square on. They look identical to me. Headstock side, getting a nice glare off of it. All three of them appear to be at about the same degree of shininess. All right, that's, uh, that's really good. And it's kind of surprising because I thought carnauba wax was going to shine up more than uh, the uh, microcrystalline wax was. Just from what I had read, it's not, uh, you know, a high shine is not necessarily mentioned in the uh, properties or features of the microcrystalline wax. I'm going to show all four spindles side by side here. Now this is the order that we did them. Red Heart with tongue oil. Purple Heart. What was Purple Heart? Purple Heart with sanding sealer. Quina wiping varnish. And uh, the Paydock friction polish. If you take a look, uh, these look pretty much the same. So any kind of uh, top coating that lends a little bit of a shine to it, looks like it's, it's going to be pretty much the same regardless of the wood or whatever. Uh, the tongue oil, of course, gave kind of a flat finish. And see, it's, uh, it has picked up a little bit of a shine, but not much. Uh, this is a Renaissance wax. This is the pure microcrystalline wax, and this is the carnauba wax. And uh, this one might be a little bit brighter, but not a whole lot. So that's the way uh, all three of them look there. And they all look really nice. All right, uh, on to the next test.